I'm Robin Clevett, welcome to my channel. Now I want to talk a little bit about blades and circular saw blades, that sort of stuff. In this case, I'm just changing out the blade on my table saw and they do get dull pretty quickly because we rip all kinds of material down, sheet material, softwood, hardwoods in fact. And now blades come in all different specifications. The one that comes with this particular saw, this DeWalt saw, is a really nice sort of construction blade and I generally replace that with the same blade. Now, what I used to do when I first started out with my circular saw blade was take it out, send it away and have it resharpened. Now, just like everything else in the world, as people produce more and they mass produce more, the price of the capital cost, if you like, the blade cost has come down so much that actually this blade, the replacement blade that I put in here, or I'm going to put back in here today, was £24.99. pence. Now, it's a beautiful blade, it's got tungsten carbide teeth and all the rest of it. If I want to get the old one resharpened, let's say for example I can have it picked up. Okay, so that's not costing me postage or my time to drive it somewhere and leave it with them. Now, generally speaking, they charge you for the number of teeth on the blade. If this has got 48 teeth, for example, that will probably cost me 25 pounds, which is exactly the same price as the one I bought this morning from a tool station. Now, you can obviously buy higher quality blades for all kinds of saws, and they cost then cost three, four, or five times as much, in which case you might buy that and have those resharpened. But is it worth it? I don't think it is worth it because you hit it with one infected bit of timber with a nail in it or something, or you cut down some of this um, mass-produced sheet material, even some of the plies with the adhesives. It just takes the edge off them straight away. So we end up with lots of blades, and I don't think it's worth me sending these off to get them resharpened for the simple reason is for the same price I got out buy a new one. So what do you reckon? Do you reckon I should put like a clock mechanism in these and maybe have them lasered with some sort of design? Maybe I could have my logo put on them and we could, we could knock them out through the website. It would be quite cool, wouldn't it, to have that on the wall with a clock on it or something like that. Let me know what you think about that. But in the meantime, I want to know from you, what do you do with your blades? Do you share my sort of... Um, I don't know, my opinion on what you should and shouldn't do. I mean, there, there's so many now. I mean, there's these really thin kerf ones as well. These are super expensive. This is the Milwaukee. And I think they're more like about 60 pounds each. Some of them, you see, have a funny size bore in the middle, which means that you have to get them, like sort of 19 millimeters. But there are a lot of standards, for example. This one is 250 by 30. And I've also got here, a trend one which is going to go on my worm drive saw. If you've seen that really old worm drive saw that my friend kindly gave me, we're going to refurbish the saw and put that blade in it. And then you've got all these other sort of like fruit, this I think. And then you've got like this one here, this DeWalt blade 305 by 30. I'm actually going to be putting this in a Milwaukee chop saw. So, I mean, it's kind of like we all mix these things up. Anyway, tell me what you do. Tell me if you think I should make clocks out of my old blades. I've probably got 50 in my store maybe there's a um, maybe there's an opportunity there for all of us anyway thanks for joining me please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all again soon